First off, it was amazing to be at home because, you know, Kim Brack is half of who I am. Um, so that was pretty awesome and uh, it was really relaxed. Felt like I came from, from New York to Grand Cayman, it's like from Grand Cayman to Kim and Brack. So kind of slow things down a bit. So I had, I had a really good time being with my, my, my family. I think they're doing a good job, you know. I think Kim and Brack um, and, and the Brackers are, are embracing what opportunities have presented itself in respect to um, COVID-19 and the staycation concept. Uh, so from that perspective, I think many people are, are quite happy about it. Well, as you may know, I'm Kim and Brack. Uh, my, my mom is from Kim and Brack, so I, like what they say, I'm a half Kim and Bracker. Um, so I'm happy about that. And um, my grandmother was from here, my grandfather was from here. Uh, I still have many uncles and aunts are from here. Uh, the other half of me are from Grand Cayman. So, um, half Kim and Braca, and always happy to be home. Um, from a tourism perspective, I think it's going to be amazing. I, uh, one of the great advantages of what um, the pandemic did was force many people in Grand Cayman to see what benefits Kim and Braca offer from the tranquility and the, the strong cultural um, um, heritage that we have that, that the, Kim, the Kim and Braca and Little Cayman maintains. So from that perspective, um, I think a lot of people saw that. Everybody, I just want to say thank you so, so much to come to do your part. I know that you guys... Um... Uh, yeah, I, I think that once we um, get control of the pandemic uh, and, get, and the world gets past this and we see that we can live um, um, with COVID-19 or, or eliminate it altogether, I think that Kim and Brack has shown for over the last year the amazing things it has to offer. I expect the land sales to increase. I expect more investment to happen. I expect more uh, entrepreneurs to take the risk and come to Kim and Brack. And I expect many Kim and Brackers may even be um, thinking, you know, maybe I should go back home now. So hopefully um, that is one of the positives we can get out of um, COVID-19 is that many people, not only people from Grand Cayman, but people from across the world have seen what Kim and Brack has to offer because it has so much. And the most important thing is the Kim and Brack people, which is the best part of it. Uh, <laughs> well, one of the interesting things that I found that I think many people that have not been to Kim and or Kim, Kim and Brack before is wait till they go to Peter's Cave and then see that there's a toilet in there. Uh, I'll leave them with that story. It's something for them to, 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 to look forward to and it's an interesting part of our tourism product, you know, a cave that has a toilet in it, you know, just in case anything goes wrong. You know, first and foremost, uh, as the new Minister of Tourism, it is it is a pleasure to, to, to be able to be the person who helps with the marketing uh, of Cayman. And, but I know that because I'm a new and younger minister, I bring a lot of interesting qualities with more creativity and more energy and boost to, to spark the, the tourism product, particularly when we're trying to get past the, the, the issues surrounding COVID-19. So once we get past that, I think that I'll bring an interesting flavor to it. But I want also to remember that, you know, some people put things um, um, a little higher than they, than they need to, um, especially the concept of minister. I want people to always remember, you know, I'm, I'm a Caymanian just like everybody else. And, and what's most important is that we're in it together. I'm just the person who's selected to make the final choice um, for the people in respect to this ministry. And, and the PAC administration takes that approach is that, you know, we're uh, a grassroots um, driven administration, more people oriented, And we plan to reflect that with everything we do every single day. Uh, it, communication is key, um, whether that means more press briefings um, to let people know what's going on or being more accessible to the people while at the same time still balancing the ever so um, 
difficult task of managing the country through this pandemic. So getting that balance right may take a couple of, uh, of months, but we promise that's our commitment to make sure we stay there with the people on the ground, but at the same time running the country smooth and profitable as it needs to be. Thank you.